Hi everyone, my name is Fanny and you may know me from Holic on Instagram or not, uh, anyways welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a macrame basket using plywood wooden bases. These, uh, you can find these in my shop createaholic.se and I'm going to show you how to make this smaller version using a 10 cm wide wooden base and the technique is exactly the same whether you make a round shaped basket or an oval shaped basket, a big basket or a small basket. It's exactly the same. You just need to adjust the amount of cords you have um, based on the amounts of holes in your wooden base and you adjust the lengths of the cords depending on how tall you want the basket to be. So yes, we'll be using four millimeter thick cotton three ply rope and like I said we'll be making the small one but remember that you can use the exact same technique for bigger ones as well. All right, let's go. So here's a closer look at the slightly larger macrame basket. Uh, it's oval shaped because I used an oval shaped wooden base. This one's 20 times 15 centimeters. And just to compare, this is the 10 centimeter round one, which we'll be using today, but the technique is the same, like I said. And I'll be showing you how to make like a, it can be used as like a pen holder. So here is a look at the rope we're going to use. It's four millimeter three ply cotton rope. We'll also be using a brush and mine is a cat pet brush. We need masking tape and scissors, of course. And a tape measure. So I'm going to measure 60 centimeters and then multiply that by two for each of my cords. Now, granted, as I'm uh, nearing the end of this project, the cords are very short so if you feel like you want to make a taller basket or just not fiddle as much with your cords in the end you may want to add some extra lengths to your cords these are now 120 centimeters and i'm putting masking tape before i cut so that they don't fray while i'm knotting because three ply rope frays very easily. Now, uh, my wooden base has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty holes, and therefore I will need twenty cords, one cord per hole. So I'm just gonna use this first cord and measure against that one until I have 20 cords. Now I've got one, here are my cord ends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got half now. So I'm just gonna cut 10 first and then 10 more after that. This is the technique I use just to measure all my cords. And then I put masking tape on all of the cords before I cut them. So now I have my 20 cords. They should all be sort of 120 centimeters. And oh, I just gotta cut this one. And then I will begin attaching these cords to my wooden base. And if I had a big one, I would need more cords, uh, obviously. So 
the reason I've got 20 is because my small wooden base has 20 holes. Now I'm taking the first cord and just making sure that it's folded in half. Take the loop, insert it in one of the holes, pull out a little bit, and then I grab the ends and pull through the loop. So this is a lark's head knot. And then you just tighten it a bit and continue with the next. So fold in half, insert it in the hole, and make a lark's head knot. And attaching the final cord so that I've now got 20 cords around my wooden base. Now, this is important. Should you have a base with an uneven amount of, num uh, of holes, you need to add an extra cord because you need to be able to divide the number by two to be able to make the knots around the basket. And there's a way of doing this that looks quite neat so that you can't really tell. You take another cord, it should be the same length, and then you add the cord ends to two adjacent holes. So, and so you insert them in the holes like this and pull them through a little bit. And then you make a lark head knot just like before. So you pull the ends through the loop and tighten. And then just adjust a little bit so that the lark head knot sits between the two right next to it. And it looks a little bit bulky right now, but you won't be able to tell once the basket is standing up. So this is what you need to do if you have an uneven amount of holes. And this is what I had in the oval shaped one. And I've actually added three extra cords to this one. So there's one added here, and then one here, and one over here. And I added two more because I wanted it to be a little bit broader or wider. I wanted the basket to be a bit wider than the actual base. So that's why I did that. And you can't really tell that there are extra cords in this one. But for this one I'm just gonna use 20 cords. And now we'll begin knotting the first round of square knots. And for anyone who hasn't tied a square knot before, I'm going to show you how to do that. You need a total of four cords to tie a square knot and you take them from two adjacent uh, lark's head knots. Now the cords in the middle are your filler cords and the cords on the sides are your working cords. So you take the right working cord across your filler cord and then the left working cord crosses that one but goes behind the filler cords and through the loop you created from behind. Pull that out and then you need to adjust so that the knot is symmetrical and tighten. And while you're tightening you may need to hold the filler cord straight. Now you're going to do the opposite direction. So you take the left working cord over to the right, the right goes behind the filler cords and then adjust to tighten. This is the first square knot. Just pull it up a little bit and continue on with the next square knot. And to repeat now, Take the four cords, two in the middle are your filler cords, 
take the right working cord across the filler cord to the left take the left working cord across the other working cord but behind the filler cords and through the loop keep your filler cord straight and then tighten now you're gonna do it the opposite direction so the left one goes to the right and then the right one goes behind the filler cords and tighten and then pull the filler cords to adjust and now just continue all the way around so I'm making the third square knot now and the final square knot in the first round so that's the first round of square knots finished and now you'll push the square knots down like this and just be careful not to break the wooden base it shouldn't break but you can be a little bit careful and like this that's the bottom of the basket and now it's time to start knotting the second round of square knots and these are alternating square knots. That's uh, what you call it when you make a sort of net. You take two cords from one square knot and two from the one next to it. And now you use the filler cords as working cords. So you take the right one across and left one goes behind the filler cords and then tighten so that it goes all the way up finish the square knot and then you can pull the filler cords a little bit just to make it look neater so that's the first knot in the second round we'll make a second knot the exact same way adjust the filler cords and then continue so here's the final knot in the second round now the second round is finished you've got one round and the second round there and it's time to begin the third round and just like before you take two cords from one square knot and two from the one next to it so you're going to take two from that one and two from that one and tie one right underneath the square knot from the first round So to keep your work a little bit steadier, it can be nice to put the work between your knees like this and just hold it like that while you're tying the square knots. I've now tied 10 rounds in total and I'm working on my 11th round of square knots. And as you can see, my cord ends are quite short by this point. So here's the final knot in the 11th round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rounds. Um, just to compare, it's slightly shorter than the oval shaped one, but 
I think this is gonna be good. So now you flip your work so it's right side up and you're going to be knotting on the outside. So now you take two from one square knot and two from the other and you make an alternating square knot like this. It's a little bit fiddly, <laughs> but just make sure it looks straight. So now you take the four next cords and tie one next to it. And for this, I'm going to be doing the next round simultaneously. So just take two cords from the first knot and two from the second. And make sure these knots are quite tight so they don't come undone with time. And then you continue like this. So here's the third knot in the first round and we're going to be making three rounds on the outside like this and we're starting with the first two rounds now. It's a little bit tricky when the cords are short. Okay, now we have finished two rounds on the outside and we're gonna make one last final round of square knots. Make it tight, just, and continue. Oops. And the final knot in the third round on the outside. There we go. Okay, now all the square knots are done and we're gonna tidy it up. We've got a nice basket, but we wanna make it look prettier. <laughs> now take another cord. It can be like 15 centimeters long, it doesn't really matter. And uh, just unfray it like this so you can get the thinner string there we go and take two cords from one square knot and two from the other and tie the thin string around these four cords make it tight just a little bit and then lift the cords and tie another knot behind make it really tight and then make another one just to secure it there and this is what you're going to be doing all around so take another this that may be too short so take another one it doesn't have to be quite that long so we can divide this one and hold it behind the four cords then tie a knot around them adjust Tighten, lift 
and tie another knot behind first one and then a double knot to secure it and keep going like this now I've tied all the cords and it's time to <laughs> make the little tassels so you can either take away the tape or just cut the cords which is easier I'm cutting them so that they are like four centimeters long three four centimeters and then you begin unfraying all of the cord ends and if you've got some tape left you need to remove that continue on with the next one This one has a little bit of tape on, so I'm going to remove that and then unfray them. They look quite messy like this, all, all curly. Can cut some. But this is where the pet brush comes in. So now we're going to brush these cord ends to fluffen up these little tassels. Lift and brush on the other side. You don't have to be very careful because uh, since you've tied your knots very hard, they shouldn't come parts. Keep going all around until you feel like it looks good. And then do some final trimming of these tassels so that they're even and look good. that's how you make your little cute macrame basket it's all done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you're happy with your own macrame basket thank you so much for watching bye